Okay, guys. So I'm going to get rid of self-sacrifice. I'm going to draw two more cards. Self-sacrifice, great. Silver bullet. Play when you declare a bolt or semi range zero. Automatically get an attack. Roll a 10 to defeat the cover. Okay, because of what my strategies are going to be, neither of these are going to be useful. So we're going to hold on to those for maybe for movement. Okay, play when you or any soldier or pen. So first off, let's roll here. 10. And let's roll canister. 6. Okay, so they both are fine with the fever, which is kind of critical. We're going to activate, which then brings in Rifleman and NCO, which is screened. I see Hostiles 2. And like I said, I had pre-picked pre these. And there are three. Okay, there's no events. We have our actions. We have our experience. Everything is good to go. Okay. So, advance. Play when you are paying an entrance cost. Add three to your movement value. My movement is two. It only takes two to get in. Oh, I should have read that. I would have gotten rid of this. I have two advances. Ah, those are useless. So the only thing of use in my hand right now is the combined fire. All soldiers add one to their ranged attack rolls this soldier turn. Okay. So now these are screened. So here's the thing. I have to be aggressive because I've got three guns to destroy and I've got to get back to our snap raid. So if I move into here on this turn, it's going to cost me some movement to get all the way back to our mission card. And I'm not sure if I can move more than one location in a player action. I guess if I have enough cards, I could. But that's going to be four coming back. It's zero to get in here. So literally, I just need to get back to the light jungle with anybody that goes into the artillery position. Now, Conister has his rifle with his grenades. And the plan was for him to launch the grenades without leaving the light jungle. Because I think if I leave, I'm going to have to draw a new terrain card. So here, I think by staying in this terrain card, I won't have to do that. And I'm not sure, because I'm here and they don't have any soldiers that they get to draw them. I'm going to play it as they don't, as I've secured this part of the jungle. Um, I will read the rules later in more detail to find out on this type of mission, which is a raid mission. If I'm in this location, one, does it stay? And two, do they get hostilities? One hostility automatically, even though they have none. And when would that activate? So we're going to play it as they don't. Okay? So here's my situation. Heart has satchel charges, which have a range of zero. To use the satchel charges, he's going to have to get into this location and blow things up. Then he's going to have to be able to move out. So this turn, I'm going to, I have to eliminate these guys here. Okay. Okay. Now I can spend an action to move in. Let me just double check. Make sure this advance. Play. Okay, just at the entrance cost. So that really doesn't help. It would help if I was moving Conister in because he only has a movement of one. But he's going to stay in shoot range. So he's not even going to go into the artillery position. 
So I can move in, try my hand to hand, but I'm gonna get one this turn, and then he's gonna get two shots, and they screen the NCO. So what's gonna happen is, best case scenario, I move in here, I eliminate one, and then I shoot two and eliminate that, but the NCO is still there, which means they get a reinforcement. If I stay back and fire my gun, I could eliminate all four. Because I'm gonna have that extra action to shoot. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start with Conister. I'm gonna have him, now the other thing I could do is fire a grenade into here and potentially, because it has an explosion of four, which means he could wipe everybody out with a grenade shot. Then I can move into this location and hand to hand the NCO. And that's two of my rifle grenades. I can take two shots to try to completely eliminate them. So why don't we do that? Now, I wasn't looking at his gung-ho. Uh, Marines only, when you enter a location with a hostile, perform an action without spinning an action. So I could have done that. So if I move him, which then these advance come into play and I need one coming back so these aren't completely wasted so he could move in performs an action without spinning an action so he has a movement of one I spin in advance Or I think I can spend an experience. Um, I'm going to discard a card, right? And this automatically defeats the cover. Okay. So here's what I think I'm going to do. Now that I actually look at my cards and strategize this, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Conister in. Okay, I need to spend two. He has a movement of one. I'm going to get rid of self-sacrifice. That gets him into this location. Now, because he's gung-ho, when he enters a location with a hostile, perform an attack without spending an action. So he still has... So he spent one action to move. He can spend an attack action, which is what he's going to do now. He's going to fire a rifle grenade. Now this says range one hit eight. So, boom. Let's mark it that way. So we need an eight. We can do combined fire. Okay, they're all gonna add one to their ranged attack rolls this turn. Okay, I'm going to spend an experience to make it a two. So we're at plus two. This is a bolt. So we're going to do a silver bullet. Okay, when well, you declare a bolt or semi attack range, automatically get an attack roll 10 and a defeat cover roll of six. So, with that in mind, that silver bullet basically means it's an automatic hit. And with that, we get 
an explosion of four. So with the explosion of four, let me read to see if that actually affects, uh, I don't think it affects him. I think it's only gonna affect them, but the explosion of four should be able to wipe out all those riflemen. Let me check that. Okay guys, so the silver bullet doesn't actually work with the grenade. So we're gonna keep that in our hands. So we are firing. Okay, we have one to our ranged attack rolls. We spent the experience to add two. Explosion is four. And I don't know if she's actually laying on one of my 10-sided dice or swiped it off the table. Okay, precious. How do you find that dice? Okay, so, yeah, that 10 is missing. It was not underneath her. I did not hear it. Normally when she swipes dice, I hear them, and I cannot see those dice in the box or anything. Okay, guys. Anyway, so we got an explosion of four. So we're going to roll four dice with a plus two. It becomes an eight, eight, four, seven, hit is an eight, so eight, eight, excuse me. That became an eight, that became an eight, that became a seven, and that became a four with our plus two. So that's going to be, oh, five, okay, yeah. So what do we got? Kill, kill, suppress. But we have another action. And with that action, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to choose the targets for the hostiles. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'll flip that back in a second. Okay. There we go. Okay, now that that's set, we're on the third turn. <clears throat> so we got two kills and one suppression. Now I can fire another grenade. Okay, let's do that. Let's go ahead and fire another grenade there. And that's his next action, all right? One action to move, one free action, and then an action to fire. Okay, we got the one hit that we needed. Boom. Okay. They are now eliminated. They are not screening him. And experience point goes to Conister. Okay. Let's move that aside. And I got that to remind me that I gotta go find that dice. All right. That's the end of his turn. So now we have this leader here, this NCO. So I can spend an action. I have a movement of two, and I can move into here. Okay. Now, I have one action left. And I can go into hand-to-hand -hand combat. Which is two. 
minus 2, minus 2. I have plus 1 on my penetration, minus 1 on my penetration. They have a 3. I have a plus 2 on my ranged attack. My ranged attack is a semi. I need a 7 to hit. Okay. I have a penetration of 1. So now that becomes a 2. I get one roll. And let me just read what semi okay. does. Okay. So when I fired my second uh, grenade, it's still a bolt action, which means I had to discard a card to um, perform that. Okay. I can now use the silver bullet to guarantee that I take out this NCO. Right? Oh, it's a bolt or semi. Yeah. At range zero, automatically get an attack 10 and a defeat. So we're going to do the silver bullet. Which is going to leave me with two advance cards. <clears throat> or I had three. Okay. So I'm going to discard one of those to have done that um, second grenade shot. Now, we're going to go ahead and do a silver bullet. So I'm not going to need to roll. We get a KIA here. We're going to gain another experience point. I'll, I'll remember that. I've got two here. Okay. So that will eliminate him. We don't need to combine fire anymore. And that's his second action. So we're down to two turns. So we have to blow everything up and get back. <laughs> it's going to be tight. But once I move into here, I can move into there. So. We get our actions. So there's three here that I've got to get rid of. I have one card. Let me draw four. It'd be nice to get an attack that doesn't use an action. We have an advance. Okay. Cautious play after you. Roll for hostile's card attack. Cancel the attack. Okay. Infiltrate. Nope. And location marker. So these aren't going to help other than to pay for movement. That's fine. But we do have two advances now. Okay. So I think... We can do this in two turns because I've got the three satchel charges. And a satchel charge has an explosion of two, which means I could get two hits. So we're going to spend an action to do a satchel charge. Range is zero, hit is eight, and I get two rolls. Okay. Now, penetration is one. Triggered, expended, I'm not sure what triggered is, we'll look at that. Add five to the attack and penetration rolls against Vehicles and structures, this is a structure. So I need a hit of eight. It's now going to be a three because I'm going to add five to my dice roll. Okay. And penetration, their cover. Oh, and it's plus four on my dice roll. So actually it's plus seven, right? Okay, let's do this again. So we need eight. I add five, knocks us down to three, plus two on cover, knocks it down to one. 
I think that the satchel charges are going to, we're definitely gonna, the cover is four. We had five, so cover roll doesn't even need to be made. And we roll two dice and we add seven to our dice rolls. Boom, we've done two. Okay, just to make sure we get this right, we need to destroy three. We're gonna do another satchel charge. Same situation, eight and three. We have now destroyed the objective. Oh, and I've moved out. I didn't want to do that. So I think I'm going to have to pull a location card. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go get our jungle cards. Oh. And we shuffled them up. Didn't quite plan for that. That's the two actions for Hart, by the way. And I think he's going to get another experience. We're gonna have four experience. Where are my experience tokens? They were hidden. Okay. Well, let's do me S4. Now, let's pull a location card. Boom, a steep rise. One hostile. No reinforcements. That's good news. And these advance cards are going to come in very handy. Oh, okay. We should be all right. Let's see. Obstructed, elevated, no vehicles. Two actions to play. Well, so I played that to play that. And two actions. Oh, hold on. So, yeah. Conister will spend the two actions to play that. Hot plus four. Keep that in mind. No vehicles, it is elevated, entrance of five. Okay, that's the end of turn three. We've got two turns to make it back. We just gotta get into here. Oh, hostiles is one. And a light machine gun team. And it adds a plus three entrance cost screen by well there's nobody screening it and now this infiltrate will come into play okay this is far from over guys far from over so that's this is all at the end of still turn three. Oh, this is turn two it's two turns left. Now let me get that right. Now three was we moved in, we did our, so we're still finishing three. I, I rotated this a little soon. Okay. <laughs> Yee. Yeah, because he used his actions. Pull that up, bang. Okay, now we're at the end of turn three and we have two turns left where's the two there it is wow okay so interesting so we were able to play that we just got everything good now I'm gonna draw one card. 
Camouflage. Play when you declare an attack. Treat a screen target as being unscreened for the attack. Okay, that's not going to help us for that ability. I'm going to pause this so I can think of my plan. Okay, guys. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to start... Wow, I have a satchel charge that I can use on these guys. So I can move in, hit them with a satchel charge, or fire grenades at them. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to advance with heart. Okay, three, Excuse me, he has a movement of two plus three, gets us our five. We can now move into there. Hot, this is a key roll, four plus. Nine, he's been a stalwart all day. This heat has not bothered him at all, or the jungle, fever, nothing. So, he's good. Oh, I gotta read what elevated is, hold on. Okay, elevated just means they ignore obstruction, which is not going to come into play. Because just of the layout of the, the terrain. Okay, so no vehicles, obstructed, elevated, doesn't matter. We've already dealt with the hot. Oh, and they plus three to the entrance cost, which was infiltrate, to ignore that. That was part of what was going to happen for me to move in there. And that was all with one action. Okay. So we're all good. Now, I'm going to use Satchel Charge, which has an 8 to hit. Okay. I'm going to roll two dice. It needs a 2. On its... We have a one on the penetration. So we basically, I, again, it has a two. We have to roll a two or higher, but a penetration of one is going to eliminate that. It's a semi, so we don't have to, well, even if we're only doing the one action. Okay, so it's going to roll two for the explosion. Hit on eight plus. I don't think there's anything else that we've played. We can cancel their attack, which is gonna be nice, if need be. Okay, so if we get two hits, two eights or higher, we eliminate them with the satchel charge. Hit satchel charge, yeah, it's only an explosion of two. A nine and a four. So we have one KIA and one suppressed. Now, I, as long as they're suppressed, I, I think I can just move out. Okay, artillery position. They're suppressed, so this entrance cost I don't think is going to have to be paid. But this adds three to our movement. We have a movement of one, gives us four. They're not going to attack. Five, and that's plus three, plus one, let's say. Now, even though they're suppressed, I got to pay the one. Hold on, that's going to get me into there. He's now going to roll heat plus four. He rolls a one. Ugh. That's fine. I'm going to take a suppression. He has no actions left anyway. Now we're coming up to our final turn. They can't do anything. So this is gone, that's gone, that's gone. Final turn, I have a 
no cards. All right, so I'm going to draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. There are no reinforcements. So I didn't check for it, but just so you know, there are no reinforcements. Location marker, overwatch, play to start a hostile action. Okay, marker, marker, and draw a fire, play before rolling for a hostile attack. Redirect. Okay. Now, movement entrance is zero. We have our actions back. I wonder if I need to eliminate him before I can step off. I need, well, we're down our last turn. I've got to get, at least maintain an action for either of them to move and move. But let me just see. I have no more satchel charges. I do have a grenade here I could fire with an eight with an explosion of four. So let's take that action. Let's fire that. It's a single shot. Explosion of four. It has no penetration, so we need to roll two or higher. And we need at least one eight. We pinned, we have a nine. Okay, that's the second KIA. He's going to spend one action to move. Boom, they're done. He's going to spend one action to move. Mission successful. We got in, we got out. I forgot one thing, didn't I? At the start of this last turn, and this will matter, I have to roll 10 for heart and a 4, so he passed. If he didn't, I would have just taken a wound, and then our movement, good to go. Okay, guys, let me clean all this stuff up. And I'll come back with some of my uh, final thoughts. I'll see you in a minute. Hey everyone. Hey, just a few thoughts on the game. Um, first off, I really do like this game. I'm going to be playing it quite a bit more. Uh, I'm already thinking about how I could have done things different. What if I would have gone with a different loadout? I'm trying to imagine what this game is like going more than just three spaces. And I'm a little disappointed I made that error on the guns. Oh, that was so frustrating when I was editing this video and I saw that. Uh, I specifically took three satchel charges because when I was setting it up, I'm like, okay, one satchel charge, two hits, one gun. And then I get into the game and I just uh, did half the damage. Oh, it was it's so stupid. It was so stupid. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be having more of this game on the channel. Uh, I've already got some ideas of what I'm going to do next, and I'm going to go ahead and start working on that and get it up on the channel as soon as I kind of get something done that I really like. Anyway, as always, I appreciate you taking time to check out what I do here on the channel. If you haven't, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I like the comments. I like to respond to people. And with that, I will say goodbye for now, and I will catch you in the next one.